I forgot to talk about one thing when I was talking about the suction hose here, and that is the pickup. Where it actually sucks the water out of the river is uh, very important that you have a pickup down there that will not suck in twigs, leaves, gravel, anything that will get into the pump and plug up the pump. So um, this little piece that I was demonstrating earlier, the Teflon tape and the pipe thread, this here has a bit of a screen on it for a pickup, so only anything smaller than an eighth of an inch can get through. This piece actually has a valve inside. This is called a foot valve. And what a foot valve does is once water is inside the pickup uh, line, if you turn your pump off, it can't flow back out. There's a one-way valve in there, so it stops it flowing back out. Otherwise, you can turn off your pump, and your pump drains of water. And then the next time you go to start your pump, there's no water inside of it, so it won't pump water. With a foot valve, all the water stays inside. Now, it has a bit of a filter on it, but you can also buy much um, finer mesh filters to go over this thing to keep the leaves and twigs and whatnot out. Now, if you bought one of the actual stainless steel mesh screens to go on this, they cost about 30 to 40 bucks. They're not cheap. Well, this right here is a little pencil holder from the dollar store. It cost me a uh, dollar. And actually, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut a little piece of wood that fits this. This will slip right on there, a little bit of silicone, and it'll be stuck on there. And then it gives me a nice fine mesh screen over top of my foot valve so nothing big will get through. Anything that can make it through this screen can get pumped through the pump. No problem. Won't hurt the pump. Question? Uh, what are you going to put on the bottom of that pencil? Right here? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just cut a piece of uh, probably a plastic that uh, will take up the gap there. I'll use silicone to seal it in place and then I'll have a nice pickup there. This cost me a buck okay. rather than paying 30 or $40 to buy one of the real ones. Uh, it'll be a lot cheaper that way. But any pickup you use to pick up water out of the creek has to be filtered in some way. There's actually regulations that say it has to be filtered down to a certain size so you can't suck up fish or wildlife. And more important, well not more important, but also um, you don't want to suck up gravel. Because if you get gravel into your pump, you'll wreck your pump. Question? Um, what if like leaves and stuff get on that and it clogs it? They can get on the surface and clog. And actually we sometimes go for a bigger one. Um, if you're going to pump for a long, long time. I have a garbage pail made of the same stuff that's really big, and you can use that, and that way you can pump all day long. And even if a couple leaves get around it, it won't plug it off. This one here, two or three leaves that get on there, it'll plug it and stop it. Yeah, and you'll have to just break them free if the water starts flowing. Okay, so a pickup for the suction hose. We missed that earlier. All right.